Here we hear this is Lord Potato, and this is What If Yuji Tadori Was Yuta's Otoko uh, Younger Brother Part 4. It's been over a year and a half? No, I'm just kidding. It's been over a year and uh, 11 months, okay? So mostly part 1 and part 2 were a year, uh, were, yeah, were a year made, so basically last year, while mostly on December something, while mostly uh, part 3 was made on January so it's like 11 months a while ago, but not the point. Let me begin into this what if, let me shut the fuck up, and let me make it begin. So, uh, recaps? Uh, no, fuck you. <laughs> I'm not doing a recap, I'm too fucking lazy for that shit. Now, uh, if you want me to do a recap, I might do one on part 5, because this is part 4, but yeah. Other than that, let me just fucking start into this what if, because I don't care. I, I don't want to lose the mostly thought of what I'm going to be doing this what if, or should I do a recap? Small recap, probably. So pretty much, if you don't understand, this what if, or this what if I made a while ago, he is kind of based on the character from, what's it called, uh, what's it called, uh, Mercenary Inro. Uh, of course, mostly, I haven't read the kind of webtoon in a while, so I might have to go back and read it, just so I can get some refreshments and other things, but yeah. Other than that, he does have a curse technique called Finro, or mostly Wolf Summoning. So yeah, it's like what's it called? It's like the sh it's ten uh, ten shadows. Just the one problem is the Wolf Leader, or he can summon mostly different types of Wolf mythologies. So like Finro from the Greek mythology, the kind of God Slayer kind of Wolf, um, or like his two sons, that being either what's it called uh, Scully, or what's it called the other one? I forgot its name half the time. But yeah, but of course you can summon other different types of wolf, uh, wolves from a lot, uh, mythology, just like what's it called, uh, Raikiri. Raikiri is a kind of lightning wolf from the Japanese mythology, but not the point. I kind of based this on just because I got bored one day. I was just, I kind of based it on mostly the Ten Shadows, but not too much of it. Uh, mostly, I didn't really know too much about mostly the, uh, at that time, I think I didn't really know much about mostly Megami's Ten Shadows and that last one being overpowered as fuck. So, yeah. But mostly, like, um, like I mentioned, he does have Finro. Finro was actually the first wolf summoning mythology kind of creature that he can summon. Not willingly, but enough times that it kind of scares the shit of Sukuna because Sukuna has fought against Finro before. But not the point. I should stop rambling on. But not the point with that one. There's also another curse technique that mostly uh, Yuji has. It's in his eyes. One, it's a blue eye. If if he ever shows his eyes, well, one eye, it's kind of blue. It's kind of shown in this picture. These kind of two blue eyes. No, mostly not blue eyes. One that's kind of blue with kind of greenish and kind of a white star. While the other one is yellowish with a reddish kind of tint with a black star. Now, these two different types of eyes have their own special technique. Now... The blue one with the white uh, star has something called, what's it called? <clears throat> Subtraction and divinement. So these two techniques allows him to literally subtract people's curse energy to however much he wants to. It's kind of limited to mostly like 10, but not the point if you want to go in numbers. Divinement is what it sounds like. He can divide people's curse energy whenever he wants to. He can also divide what's it called mostly align, uh, alliances, but he doesn't do that much times. What the other one is addition and multiply, uh, multiplyment. So pretty much what this addition and multiplyment does, he can actually either uh, mostly add people's curse energy with his own curse energy, or he can then multiply their curse energy with his how much curse energy he wants to give to them making them kind of also activate positive curse energy. He can activate someone's positive curse energy by just multiplying his own curse energy with them. So he can kind of do something like that. With the divine and the subtraction, he can actually take someone's curse energy, but yeah, and add it onto his own, but yeah, but not the point. So pretty much, I never did mention that on part one, two, or three. It's because uh, at those times, I was thinking um, when to bring this curse technique into uh, upon mostly Yuji. But yeah, I never mentioned that. I didn't want to go on with like the same kind of techniques like Yuta does. Because Yuta, I think, is like a part of what's it called? It's like a cousin part of the Gojo family. Like he's like a very distant cousin. But yeah. So I wanted to give Yuji special eyes at the same time a very cool curse technique. 
mostly summoning. Summoning Shikigami. Kind of. But yeah, mythology Shikigami works. If you understand. But that's not the point here or there. Let me just begin to this what if and let me shut the fuck up. Also, I should mention one thing. My boy knows three Taekwondo, so don't worry about that. He knows martial arts. He can kick the shit out of anyone. He's also really good in hand-to-hand -hand combat. M really good. I mean, he does know three Taekwondo. From OC uh, Taejin Jin, he did train upon him one time. I'll mention when that will be at. Um, he does know hand-to-hand -hand combat, like fighting with like a combat knife. Sometimes, he doesn't really know how to use a sword that much, but not the point. Uh, mostly like hand-to-hand -hand combat really close to someone he can easily knock that man out by just giving him that fucking combo But at the same time he also know how to use a gun so he does know how to use guns so he knows how to use handguns rifles uh, What's it called assault rifles? Uh, shotgun and yeah, you get the point. Well shotguns he doesn't know how to much uh, Mostly use but he knows how to use it, but not much neither that of rockets if he tries to use a rocket he might have to use cursed energy to manage to grapple him down, uh, self down to the ground so he doesn't get blown away from the recoil. But yeah, because rockets are kind of a little bit difficult to use. But yeah, he's limited to some guns, some military guns, but not much. He does, he actually does adapt to mostly using weapons. If someone teaches him how to use a gun properly, like uh, mostly like a professional military gunsman, like for rockets or grenades or any of that shit. He is going to copy it super pretty easily. Mostly, yeah. But not the point. So, let me just begin this what if, and let me shut the fuck up. That's all I wanted to mention now. So, yeah, I don't care about the recap of what happened last time. Because all you gotta know is, um, basically, Yuji was getting trolled by his brother and everyone else that was there. Watching him kind of fell in love. Because, well, he does not know much about love. And it's kind of difficult for him to understand. But other than that, let me begin to what if, let me just fuck up, and let me begin. So, we begin into Mosi Yuji kind of appearing at the car. The hideout of, well, Mosi. The hideout of where he was at, well, Mosi, uh, last time. He was at a kind of tech company that's kind of being run, over, well, being run by Mafia, or not Mafia, Yakuza members. Uh, of course, of like this Yakuza kind of group called the Iron, uh, Iron Star. So, of course, this is where, well, he's there to eliminate all of them. He has two, uh, what's it called, handguns. But these handguns are light machine guns. So, not the point. They're like mostly Glock 17s, but not close to it. But, yeah. He does have suppressor on them, but not the point. He does have a couple magazines with him. <clears throat> Thanks to his curse technique, you can actually kind of put things into a pocket dimension, but not the point. Uh, of course, where, well, he also has a rifle behind him, well, what's it called, a light machine rifle, like what's it called, an M16, where like, M well, mostly 5.56 uh, uh, millimeter kind of bullets. So, yeah, those big ass bullets. Is it millimeter or is that, nah, I can't fucking remember, but you get the point. It's, I don't think it's five millimeter. What am I talking about? No. Yeah, it's so many here. Ah, fuck it, I forgot how you fucking... Whatever. Pretty much, he has lots of those magazines in a different dimension. He also has two combat knives, uh, black boots, black pants. Uh, mostly these black pants are kind of a little bit fire resistance, also kind of curse energy resistance. Thanks to Crypto and his kind of mostly arsenal and how to actually kind of design clothing. He might be a hacker, but he has a friend that's actually pretty good at designing clothes. That doesn't matter if it has to also be kind of uh, having the input of curse energy. Thanks to Yuji's eyes, he was able to kind of input that curse energy onto cl onto like mostly on non non. Of, yeah, let me say that again. On objects, he can pretty much do that. His eyes allow him to actually do, uh, think does things like that. But thanks to the designer, the designer was also somewhat a curse user who was able to kind of well add kind of curse energy into objects so he can actually kind of make a profit with it but yeah but not the point so of course mostly Yuji and him managed to do something like that well it was a her but not the point of course well Yuji has black kind of pants that are quite movable and light boy they don't they don't really restrain his body from being moving too quick of course then there's also a black shirt that he wears underneath with his black jacket he wears a kind of like longish black jacket. 
that's kind of like what's it called a hoodie well mostly a jacket with a hoodie but yeah just wear it well it's kind of well warm i mean yeah it's warm fire resistance ice resistance and all other things it also does have curse energy because yes i did mention that he does have a mask a black mask that does help him in some situations like if there's a like, kind of like gas leak or whatever the hell it does but yeah also i should mention dark explosive resistance him with but yeah, so mostly like shrapnel and other things won't be able to pierce through it. So it's like body armor. A bit, but not the point. He does have what's it called a sword on the back, even though well he doesn't have a sword because he doesn't know how to use a sword, technically. So it kinda he really does not know how to use a sword. But it doesn't matter because the other two people that came along with him is Estef and Junko. Now Estef is a girl with longish blue hair with bluish eyes. She also had pale white skin, but she didn't really mind and not like. She actually wants to actually kind of see the combat skill of well, Yuji's to actually de uh, determine if she will actually well go along with his crazy plan. <laughs> well, mostly it wasn't a crazy plan. It was pretty much only a was it called mission by himself, but she came along. So pretty much she has kind of a bluish jacket, uh, mostly an icy blue jacket. That mostly her pants are kind of a white kind of pant color with mostly her boots. She is wearing boots, so it's kind of like these white heel boots. She's wearing like this white kind of coat. It's not like a blue coat. It's a white coat. She kind of looks like this. Okay, let me show you. So she's wearing something mostly like this, but yeah, it's kind of tight, but not much. But yeah, it's also kind of resistant with curse energy and other things. Well, Junko decides to come in a design outfit like this, but yeah. But both of their kind of curse energy is usually with them, but yeah. So even though mostly Junko has less clothes and mostly SF or even what Yuji, they basically have their own curse techniques, and I'll mention that later. But right now, it's kind of like the civilian kind of, well, mostly not civilian. It's kind of mostly what our curse energy using the, on, well, mostly in this mission. Pretty much it's just a gunfight, but yeah. Junko does kind of use two guns. She actually has been trained by her sister in using two handguns. So, of course, two handguns that she has with her, but not the point. Estef has been trained in how to use a sword. Mostly. So, of course, she's been trained into how to use a sword, but mostly like a reaper kind of sword, but not the point. She actually can use ice on it because, yeah, she has actually, what's it called? Two different curse techniques similar to that of Yuji's, but she doesn't have the six eyes. She was actually kind of born into using a, what's it called a curse energy that's called a sub zero with another curse energy that's called limitless. But yeah, she does have limitless, but it's not as good as her kind of well, mostly uncle who Gojo is considered to be still the strongest in her family. But yeah, Junko has a curse energy that's called mostly emotional. She's able to kind of uh, control people's emotions that of different like emotions so anyone that feels what's it called either depressed fear or whatever type of emotion like despair or any of that she can actually get kind of her kind of uh, curse energy can actually be kind of going up i mean she can also feel those same emotions but it's mostly it's better for others to feel it so she can actually get her curse energy to be kind of going up so she can have lots of curse energy or sometimes not a little bit but yeah also, if someone's feeling happy around her, she can actually use positive curse energy. So she can use other people's emotions to kind of increase her power. But yeah. Now, yeah, that's what I mentioned. Now, we go into this mission. This is where, well, Estef and Junko looks at Yuji saying, Are you really wearing all that? Yuji says, Why aren't you two wearing something like, I don't know, covering? This is where, well, we'll see both Estef and Junko decide to tease him and decide to kind of say, so how do you like our outfit? This is where, well, they go into a position, quite a very sexual position. This is where, well, mostly Yuji looks away, while Crypto just chuckles seeing how Yuji is not a very quite confident person in dating people. But of course, with that, without that case, mostly we'll Crypto says to good luck in fighting against the Yakuza, uh, mostly we'll Yakuza group called the, what's it called? What the hell did they call it? But the rose, the rose star? No, what the hell did I call it? The black star? Mm, I can't fucking remember. So, dark, I cannot remember, but you get the point. Whatever I said in the beginning, I said that. But other than that, we go into them kind of going into the mission. 
Now, this is where Yuji, he's right now on top of a hill, right now looking down with his, uh, we'll see, kind of scope on his rifle. And he's kind of sniping people out of the way. He has it on single shot, pa, 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 pa. This is where, well, he has a, what's it called? Well, mostly a six times scope on his rifle, but yeah. He also has on the side of it, like a, what's it called, iron sight dot, but not the point. This is where, well, he's easily kind of sniping, what's it called, all of the different... Well, people, like, different kind of Yakuza members. <laughs> headshot, headshot, headshot. Arm shot, headshot. Uh, headshot, 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 headshot. Body shot, mostly hitting them one in the heart and then killing them, but yeah. This is where, well, mostly both Estef and Junko are only there to be in hand-to-hand -hand combat, just in case. Mostly close combat. But this is where Yuji is the only one with a kind of long range weapon. Not that long range weapon, but long enough to kind of snipe people out of the way. He might have his gun on single uh, single kind of shot right now. He also has like 40 bullets in it because he does he did get an extended mag in it. But yeah. Now this is where well he runs out of the fully, uh, 40 bullets and decides to kind of say, come on, let's go. This is where, well, all three of them moves down there. This is where, well, he already took out like half of the members. This is where, well, mostly he kind of like reloads, puts another magazine. This time it's a drum magazine. So yeah, this is where, well, he puts it in auto fire instead of single fire. So of course, it's where, well, he then just puts it on his back and decides to pull out literally three grenades, throw them up in the air. And this is where, well, he did hold it on for a while. He threw one up in the air that was kind of holding on for a while while he threw the other one instantly. This is where, well, mostly up in the air, an explosion happens. This is where, well, a lot of Yakuza members are right now rushing to the site right now, kind of running, and what the hell is happening? They did not notice there was a grenade underneath them. Kaboom! Killing multiple members in an instant. This is where, well, Crypto is watching this. He does have drones right now, but the problem is the drones are too far away to actually see what's happening because there's an EMP right now happening in what's it called this area. So, of course, mostly Yuji, Estef, and Junko are going to have to do this kind of dark and what's it called mostly communication because, well, an EMT is knocking out all communications and also all surveillance cameras. So, of course, this is where, well, it's quite an annoying kind of. Thing to do but luckily since they have curse energy they can still communicate with people so mostly yuji is kind of limiting himself with curse energy just so he won't be kind of found out so he does have a binding valve with that even sf and junko has that but yeah mostly sf explained what a binding valve was since yuji and uh, junko did not know much but this worked well it was helping them kind of have their kind of curse energy to a very low amount so pretty much our binding bow was to not be able to use curse energy while kind of being on this mission. Not much of it. So having their curse energy kind of lower. But of course their physical strength and other things were kind of upgrade. So yeah, they have superhuman strength and other things. But yeah. But this is where, well, they're going on this mission kind of dark and alone. But for right now, I'm sorry, but it was kind of short. I know that. But other than that, let me kind of end it off. But have a nice potato day, potato night, potato sleep, potato potato. Yeah, I'm trying to get back into the swing of it and actually doing what's it called videos on my first channel. If I can't keep doing that, then yeah, I would be trying to do that. But other than that, bye soon. Yeah, yeah, no, it's kind of short, but who cares? Bye.